Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're live from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, yes. It's time for some fire. Let me praise myself there. Jesus Christ. Mega Man. I think that's how you say it. Her name is weird. Makes her way down to the ring. As we are live for the first episode, or at least first edition. Of TMCO Live. Is Mega Man again? Or however you say her name. I need to study that. Um... Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Mega Man was in the first match on their own. Near a month ago, I think now. Well, here comes Overwatch. And their representative, Diva, will be the first one to start this match. Will be the one to be in this match, excuse me. That's why the Korean music is playing for Diva. I don't even think she was into this kind of Korean music. This is clearly rap. Nonetheless, she's going to. We have two contrasting high flying styles there. As we have Divas, more powerful aspects, and this will be her TMCL debut. Technically, not her TMCL debut, as she was with Tracer in at NXT vs. YouTube in the Women's Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match for the new TMCL Women's Tag Team titles, formerly known as the NXT Women's Tag Team title. titles. You see the champions on throne three actually. And on these TMCO lives, we have made some number one contendership matches. Right now, there's supposed to be a gauntlet at one of these TMCO lives for the fate of the women's tag team championships at Steel City Mayhem. We still have the tag team contendership match coming up at throne two. We also have confirmed cruiserweight action and also the pick your poison challenges. They honestly had a month to pick their challenges, so honestly, this shouldn't be that hard. Already training to try to take on their champions. See, we're looking forward to see some good matches there. Is Miguel now? Has dominated the beginning half of this match, and oh no, drops her down. Drop kick now by Diva. Diva looks to come back some more. Goes to the ropes. Drop kick missed. The game automatically gets prepared for that. Oh no. What's he doing to, with the. Oh! Knee to the face. The game being a little bit more confident in this match. I mean, you'd be more confident with something like Diva instead of Ruby Rhodes, who's had a. Remarkable career before TMCO came to YouTube this new era began. I mean, she was Raw Women's Champion. She came out on Throne 1 with the Raw Women's Championship to make a statement to begin. She was sadly not able to defeat her. Both these women need to pick it back up, and looks like Diva's trying to pick it back up in this match. And now goes from the top of a drop kick and Miguel just moves out the way. So now we're back to a two count here. Now what's what's happening here? And no no no. Misses again with another power bomb there. Move. Diva, like I said at the beginning, more of a power player there. Iris whip into the ropes. Pop up power bomb. And this could end it here. Not, not even a kick out of one. The game is a fire. That's that's all I gotta say about that. 
Oh, now I just thought of it. Mega Man. Oh, me too. Trying to go for some red arrow type maneuver there. And it was a, oh, God. Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Now, she's just hanging from that flamethrower. I mean, I know. It's only Valve Nowhere type of move, but it seems like you're paying. Oh! Nice move by Megan. Let me get I, I honestly still don't know. I'll do better next time. She is a potential be an amazing star. NTMCO for the win. Two. Kick out of two. Trying to go for some move. Diva reverses it. But now what Diva's trying to go, this does not look bad news. Jesus Christ! I don't know what that was. But I just know that was amazing. Now what is she trying to do? Forearm there. Forearm to the back. Kicks him. To the midsection from the back actually now gonna start to drag her diva has more of the advantage considering the fact that she is the smaller opponent and I thought diva oh she's not gonna jump maybe when they throw people out the ring with that oh no 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 power bomb on the oh no 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 jesus oh god that that's not good for anyone that, that's really not good for anyone. Her back can be extremely damaged from that, but nonetheless, we're at a four count here, and I don't think Diva will be the one to take that count out victory. I mean, whatever it takes, it doesn't raise an impression that shows your dominance throughout the match if you can keep your opponent out the ring for the count of 10, especially from the four count. The game is still dazed. She's gonna have some trouble getting back in the ring. And she saves herself there. Trying to go for the top rope in that enziguri. That that just fails it. Now Diva looking to be stuck between the ropes. Still was trying to attack, so she can probably get herself out. That kind of looked weird. <laughs> Super kick miss there by McGinn. What? I, 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 I say no more. First she comes out with the O's, and now, you, you know what, never mind. That explains it all. And clothesline there. Into a drop kick. And now, trying to go for an accent over there. It looked like she was trying to go for another pop-up powerbomb. Takes her down and goes all around the world. Slap to the head, and that's just plain up disrespectful. The games need to show needs to be able to show a new attitude, honestly. If she's gonna want to be up on the ranks, I guess you can say. Punch to the face now. Drop outside the ring. You know, Tracer's there. Angel's on the other side. The way they're positioned is a little bit... I guess you can say creepy in a way, but... Nonetheless, still gonna work. Hits her onto the podium there. About to get a four count. The referee knows how to do his job. It's been a four count, let's be honest, though. And then you want to make that five quick. All right. Five count there. They get back in the ring straight at half point. We get him now. Looking to want to end this. Burning rush. Burning rush there by McGam. And I think she should finish this, but no. I'm gonna go on to the top rope. Going to try to go for that orthodox move there, and that does not help the boat either of them. Hit the face. 
Wait her butt. Yeah, that's what I'm calling that move. Wait her butt. As you can tell by now, I don't know the accurate. Oh! Trying to go for a 630 there. Does not turn out well for her. Punch. Turn around. Into a split. Into a clothesline. And that's what I like to see. Some dance moves in wrestling. Everyone loves the Brodus player, Xavier Woods. The best characters in wrestling. Nonetheless. Um. That wasn't even a clothesline. That was a punch doing that split combo once again. And gotta show the fans a good show. It's entertainment. Not wrestling is entertainment, but entertaining. That's what I need to say. We are not too many champions. Entertainment. I, I'm sorry. That was dumb. That was that was a terrible. Thing. And, wow. That. I, I, we got like McGinn for her confidence. We release this newfound confidence. We release to people that she feels that are below her level. At least she has respect to women who've had success. Trying to go for that move once again. It's had no success. Maybe she was thinking three times in a row. Pop a power bomb. Diva might have this one. One, two, kick out. Now Diva's. Striking the end of this match. Now, wasting some time. Now, gonna go on to the top rope. 630 splash. And that can end it here. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Now, gonna go on to the top rope again. That did not work. Red arrow. I guess you could call it a pink arrow. Miss now by McGinn. Now she's gonna go for burning flames. I did not call it that earlier. What I oh, you know that's what I'm calling it. Burning flames once again. People are saying one more time, and I think she might give it him. And now what is this? I'm going for forearms there. She's trying to get some momentum here. Maybe she might want to end it. With a fireball. A fireball cut cutter. Now what's she doing here? Someone just said fire. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know. Burning flames. For the fourth time in this match. Third time in a row. And that can end it here. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 Tracer. Go down. Referee now distracted by Tracer. I mean, I think Diva want to be the one to try to take the distraction. But I think Tracer just saved Diva in this match. Nonetheless, McGam now. What's she gonna do now? She can try to finish it off once again with a fifth burning flames. Wait, roll up there by Diva. Two. She's probably gonna kick out. No. Diva gets the win. And as you can see here, this was the first burning flames. Now, and then you see the three, the 630 missing. This is the one that hit, and it was beautiful the way we saw that from Diva. That probably would have ended this match to try to go for some red arrow type position. This was the one of three burning flames. You see this. You see, look at that. Once again, Burning Flames and the Tracer would stop the matchup there. Giving Diva some time to try to get a roll up. One, two, three. And me, she, she might have risen in the ranks of the women's division a little more. 
The game is just sadly going down with the two losses she's had in TMCL so far. Honestly, they might have to go for the hybrid championship. Both women show to be more impressive. Good night.